Yo, yo, what's up? It's me, DMC, and the place to be. And as it's plain to see, the only place for me to be is right here rocking and rolling, hipping and hopping with the 8-Bit Geek. What's up, everybody? It's Kevin from the 8-Bit Geek, and I'm here with a hip-hop legend here, Mr. Daryl DMC McDaniels. What's up, all you 8-Bit Geeks out there? This is, yeah, this is truly, a, it's an honor. Thank you so much for doing this. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, so we're here at Alamo City Comic Con 2017. Yeah. What brings you here? Well, I have a, I actually have a graphic novel comic book I put out three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's called DMC. The name of my company is Daryl Makes Comics. Nice. And basically what it's about in this universe, mm -hmm. my superpowers is hip hop and rock and roll. But in the comic book universe, I'm never meet run. I'm not a rapper. I actually graduate from St. John's University and I become a teacher. But I'm the superhero in that universe running around fighting the bad guys and other superheroes. Wow. And the whole comic book came about before hip hop, mm -hmm. before rock and roll as a kid. All I did was read, draw, and collect comic books. Excellent. So three years ago, one of my friends was like, yo, DMC, you, I was Marvel all my life. I had DC, mm -hmm. but Metropolis and Gotham were fictional. Stan Lee had the superheroes running around New York, so yes. I could really relate to, with that. Peter Parker lives in Queens. I live in Queens, so it wasn't make-believe to me. It was real. Mm -hmm. And that being said, Marvel comic books set me up to have my dynamic abilities mm -hmm. on the microphone when hip-hop came over the bridge from the Bronx. So Man. I was reading comic books and drawing comic books from, like, kindergarten all the way up to like eighth grade wow and then that's when i started paying attention to hip-hop and hip-hop basically was you could tell stories on the microphone mm -hmm. over music mm -hmm. so everything that all the creativity and imagination of comic books mm -hmm. went into my hip-hop career you know and all the easter eggs was all already there on king mm -hmm. of rock 1985 i said crash through walls mm -hmm. come through floors Bust through ceiling in, knock down doors. Run says, I'm DJ Run, I can scratch. I don't mm -hmm. say I'm DMC, I can rap. I go, I'm DMC, I can draw. Mm -hmm. um, on Raising Hell, the son of Bifert rhyme came about because Thor is the son of Odin right. from Asgard with a brother named Loki. <laughs> so I looked at Thor and he got a hammer. I was like, I'm Daryl from Hollis. My father's name is Bifert, and I got a brother named Alfred and I got a microphone. So I wrote, Son of Bifert, brother of Al. Banners my mother and runs my pal. It's McDaniels, not McDonald's. These rhymes are Daryl's, those burgers are Ronald's. I ran down a family tree. My mother, my father, my brother, and me. So I was using hip hop yeah. to describe who I, I am mm -hmm. in a supernatural way. And that imagination and creativity was all from comics. That's excellent. So. Growing up, you were a big Marvel fan. Like, what big was, time. What was your favorite? Was there like, did you pick one or a couple My of them? My favorite that comic book to read was Captain America. Excellent. My favorite superhero though that I love is Hulk, mm -hmm. because I like the fight between Banner and the Hulk entity. It's a blessing and it's a curse. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a, a, a an infection, mm -hmm. like a disease. You know, you, you don't want it, but then you got it. But being the strongest person in the world makes you a danger and a threat, not to just yourself, but to the whole damn world. Mm -hmm. So I love that struggle of, of not just about good and evil, because, mm -hmm. you know, the Hulk ain't evil. He's just a Hulk. Yes. There's nothing he could do about it. So I like that struggle with that. So Hulk's my favorite superhero. Yeah. But my favorite book to, like, read that I was into a diehard fan was Captain America and the whole Steve Rogers. And comic mm -hmm. books is beautiful. Because it's like, when I saw Steve Rogers, I didn't see a white man. Mm -hmm. I just saw a dope-ass superhero. Right. And fight that's Nazis. The, yeah, yeah. And, and fight Nazis. Yeah. yeah, and that's another thing. What comic books also did for me was, in school, I would learn about World War II, mm -hmm. but Captain America would take me there. I right. would learn about the sun, the moon, and the stars, but the Silver Surfer and Galactus and the Watcher would take me there. Mm -hmm. So th that right there wasn't unreal to me, mm -hmm. because... By me reading these comics every day, maybe an excellent student. I was a straight-A student on honor roll. And even Albert Einstein said, the smartest man in history, he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. That's So true. because I had of imagination, knowledge was easy to me, mm -hmm. which set me up to display my skills on a microphone because my whole career, I was just pretending to be the most powerful entity in the music business. Yes. 
I became a mild manner Daryl McDaniels, Catholic school kid, transforms into the mighty king of rock. Mm -hmm. So what I was getting from comic books actually manifests itself in this universe. That's amazing. That's the beauty of it. Oh, man. So with DMC, the comic. Yes. Uh, I noticed that the first issue, you had four different artists, was it? Because they were yes, doing four each, different types, yes, right? Yes. Each, each issue will have one artist and writer that is known mm -hmm. to all of us geeks and nerds mm -hmm. so that it's official. Yeah. That makes it legit. In addition to the one artist that's known, I want to give up and coming artists mm -hmm. and artists who should have had a chance to draw for Marvel or DC or Image or whatever mm -hmm. and never got that chance. So I'm um, 52 years old. There's artists 50 and older mm -hmm. who never got a chance to draw. I want to give mm -hmm. them that opportunity before they leave this world. Mm -hmm. And also, if I run, to a, run into a kid 16, 17 years old, they got skills. I would hire that male or female, mm -hmm. that Asian, Muslim, or whatever, and give them the opportunity now, because I don't think that anybody who's creative, there's protocol, mm -hmm. but I don't think a gifted person who's 16 or 17, 18 or 19 mm -hmm. should have to wait till they get their degree, mm -hmm. should have to wait to get a portfolio, and then run around to companies and corporations and take meetings. Yeah. I want to give everybody the opportunity to display their skill now mm -hmm. the same way hip hop and rock and roll gave me that opportunity. That's, so yeah. when we created the book, that was one of the um, things that really made us say, hey, let's do this. Excellent. Cool. And so, yeah, mm -hmm. your comics out on your own company, yes, Daryl yeah. Mix Comics. When we came up with the idea, I was naive. I was like, all right, we're going to create this and take mm -hmm. a meeting with Marvel or DC or whoever. Mm -hmm. My partner, Riggs Morales, who was with Eminem over at Shady Records for mm -hmm. the rise of that great empire, he said, no, D, you're DMC. Mm -hmm. Hip-hop started on its own in the streets. You put turntables together. You yeah. put cardboard down for dance floors, and you mm -hmm. was doing the break dancing in the street. The graffiti writers was just buying paint cans and, and displaying yeah. their arts like that. He said, we're not going to go to Marvel and DC. We're going to do what they started 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. So he was like, if you had an opportunity, what would you name your company? And I was like, I can't call it Marvel because that's taken. <laughs> I can't call it DC because that's take. I can't mm -hmm. call it Image. I can't call it Aftershock. Oh, I got it. It all fought, fell back to me. Daryl mm -hmm. McDaniels is the initial. Of my, the initials of my name is DMC, which stands for Daryl McDaniels. But it also stands for Devastating Mic Controller. It also stands for D is for doing it all at a time. M's for the rhymes that are all mine. C's for cool, cool as can be. And I wear contacts so I can see. But then I said, no. I'm going to call my comic book company Daryl makes comics, DMC, because that's what I'm doing. So right. it was easy. It was easy. That's amazing. So where can we find you? Where can we find these comics? Like, do yes. you want to just pimp out your information right now? Yeah, Please every, do. Every, every comic book store globally should have the DMC comic book. Mm -hmm. Issue one and two is out now. Issue three will be out at the end of June. Excellent. New music is coming next month. Because I'm still doing music, too, because I like mm -hmm. comic books and music. So why right. stop doing music to do the comic book? That's why I said I was doing all this music in the years I should have been did the comic book. But I realized I could do both. Uh, next month, I got a song coming out with Joan Jett, awesome. the queen awesome. of rock and roll. After that, I'm dropping a song with Chuck D, a public enemy, and we're backed by Slaves on Dope out of Montreal. Then I'm dropping yeah. a song with Sammy Hager. Oh, and man. then after that, I'm going to drop the album which has a song with my man Tim Armstrong from Rancid. Big mm -hmm. shout out to the plant, um, to the transplants. And um, a whole album that's a collaboration of fun music for everybody to listen to. That's excellent. You raised the bar on music, and now you're raising the bar on comic books. Exactly. I'm just trying to make us nerds and geeks happy because I want to be official, and I want to let the whole world know that comics are cool. Star Wars is cool. Fred Flintstone is cool. The Monsters. I Dream of Genie and the Addis Family is cool. Yes. Star Trek is cool. Space 1999 is cool. Y'all forgot about that one. <laughs> Lost in Space is cool. Mickey Mouse is cool. Even all the way down to the one of the most gangster things that ever existed in, in art, in cartoons, in pop culture. Big shout out to the Powerpuff Girls. Yes. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> That is amazing. Thank you so much, Thank DMC. You. Thank you, Daryl. I you. wish you the best of luck with DMC. Thank it's going to sell, man. Peace out to all you eight bidders out there. <laughs>